So Gudra in Pokemon Sword and Shield is really bulky with 90 health and 150 special defense. So it's just a special wall. So it can take pretty much any special. Like it can take a lot of physical damage. Especially with something like an Assault Vest which raises its special defense by 1.5. It'll be really bulky uh, especially. Plus 100 attack and 100 special attack means it can put out good damage while being so bulky. And 80 speed means it's it has decent speed so it can naturally outspeed some of the slower tankier Pokemon. 70 defense with the 90 health means you can take some physical defensive hits but obviously not as good as your special defense. And its abilities are Sap Zipper, Hydration, and Gooey. Which are all good on Gudra especially because it can it's good on rain teams with Hydra. Like it's good on rain teams so Hydration adds it to use. And that way if you get poisoned or paralyzed or whatever you get rid of it at the end of the turn which is really good especially on something so tanky especially when it comes to poison. Zap Zipper gives you a free immunity to grass, and if you run a physical with your 100 attack, you get a free plus 1 attack, which is good. Plus, immunity, just an immunity is really good, that means you have a free switch in. And Gooey, and Gooey is good too because you have 80 base speed, so you can really make use of Gooey if something that has like 100 speed, and it's like, if something that's slightly faster than you but isn't invested, or even some that are invested, the Gooey can make a difference if you get hit with a physical hit, or if it gets KO'd, if Gudra gets KO'd with it. Whatever you could bring in something that needs the speed and it'll have pretty much a free and free out speed pretty much that you can make use of. But being pure dragon, especially with this bulk, is really good because you're weak to ice dragon and fairy and you resist fire, water, grass, and electric. And plus if you have tap zipper grass is immunity. But it's pretty good overall. Like you only have three things to worry about. One of them is dragon and one of them's dragon. And for the most part, ice is special, and other than play rough, fairy is special. So You'll be able to survive even the super effective hits too from Ice and Fairy. So something like a weakness policy actually is really good on Gudra because you can survive your special hits. Especially if you can baton pass speed into Gudra, that's the only thing. When it comes down to like weakness policy for example, you would need some sort of speed. but Or Tailwind for example, but one way to run Gudra is to just take advantage of its massive special defense and health and run Assault Vest. And Gudra doesn't really have very many setup moves anyway, or like very many status moves anyway that it would want to use. like. Tearful look, protect, rain dance, curse, and then if you look down here, it doesn't really have many good setup moves or status moves, for example. So assault vest is pretty much the best item on Gudra most of the time. But and then you pretty much just run dragon pulse and four coverage moves: flamethrower, ice beam, and sledge wave. Dragon pulse is stab. Flamethrower and ice beam are just great coverage for things like fair thorn, which could be a problem, and like guard chomp and the other four times we drag. Like the other things that are four times with the ice. Fire and Ice have a lot of 4 times super effective hits, so they're really good to have. And Sludge Wave is just high damage and good coverage, especially against fairies. And the good thing about it is Dragon's resisted, well, it's immune by dry it's immune by fairy and weak to fire, or weak to sti- It's- It's immune by <laughs> fairy and it's re and resisted by steel, so Flamethrower hits steel super effective and Sludge Wave hits poison, or fairy super effective, so you have some coverage on the things you wouldn't be able to hit with your stab. But pretty much you just want to come in and take, you want to come in and try to two or three shot your opponent while being able to just take those hits up with Gudra. Especially if they're special. So Gudra is pretty much your dedicated special wall. Or they're already weak and you just switch in Gudra to take a hit and kill them. That's the plan. And the ability for this one can be, honestly be either Sap Zipper or Gooey. Sap Zipper is here only for the grass immunity. The plus one to attack doesn't really matter. But the other thing is if you want Gudra to be a full special wall, you don't really want it to take physical hits. And almost all the moves that make contacts are physical, so it would be kind of useless. Gooey would be almost useless, unless you're really running Gooey just in case you get KO'd. Just so you're out, whatever switches in has that speed advantage. But another way to run it is, like like I said, Gooja's really getting a rain team. With with moves like Thunder, Weather Ball, it has access to like Surf, which all get the boost, which you get the boost, Surf, Aqua Tail. Uh, so it has pretty good coverage. Like it has, it fits pretty well on a rain team. Plus you're being dragon, so you kind of give your ally some coverage. And so dragon ball, thunder, weather ball, sledge wave, and especially if you run it in doubles, you can drop weather ball for surf, or if you just want to have reliability versus the 10 extra base power, because weather ball will have 100 base power and be watered, so it'll get the rain boost and everything. But if you go with an ally that uses like a max airstream or a tailwind or something in doubles, you can get rid of well. Weather if you if you're gonna use Gudra pretty much only in the rain then Weather Ball if not if it might not be in the rain then Surf's always gonna option especially in doubles though you could run Surf instead of Weather Ball and run something like this and drop the Assault Vest especially if you can give Gudra speed weakness policy is really good so like an um, Max Airstream or a Tailwind would be really good like if you can get Gudra that I would run weakness policy because you can survive your super effective hits with ease 
especially if they're special if they're special you can if, the, if they're physical then you run a risk especially like a guard chomp something like that but if it's like an ice beam for example and the other thing about Gujar being pure dragon is you have no four times weaknesses they're all two times which is really good but if you can especially in doubles with this Gujar gets a plus two or even in singles with the um if you can just baton pass speed into it you can do a ton of damage in rain with thunder having 100 percent accuracy dragon pulse doing a lot surf getting the boost or weather ball depending if it's singles or doubles and you want if you want to do single damage or double same with sludge wave uh, I don't think Gujar learned Sludge Bomb though. So it does learn Sludge Bomb. So again, in doubles, if you just want to hit one ally, Sludge Bomb is always an option. But this is a Dynamax Gujar with Draco Meteor, which lowers their attack. Sludge Wave raises your special attack, and I think it does 90 power Dynamax. And again, Blizzard Fire Blast for the Ice and Fire cover, just for the four times effective hits, which is really good. But max health, max special attack, and I like the Guave Berry because you're so bulky. Especially Dynamaxed with again special defense you'll take no damage Dynamaxed But even physical physical hits will do some damage, but they won't do a ton That's why I like the Guave Berry because there's a really good chance you'll get below the 1 4th Especially with no 4 times weaknesses or anything like that There's a good chance you'll get there And you can also run weakness policy again if you can get it speed Weakness policy is really good, but I don't want to rely on that Because you're, you can get out sped and you're put in a really bad situation But I like Gooey here though because you're so tanky, even if you take a physical contact move, which I don't think dy Dynamax moves don't count as that, which kind of sucks. But if you get hit with, so if you're not against other Dynamax Pokemon, but if you get hit with a physical move, you'll lower their speed. And then you'll go for, most times you'll outspeed them unless they're really, really fast. And you just come out and you two-shot them pretty much with a ton of damage behind these moves. Especially, like you might not two-shot them, but you'll do a lot to them. And you have to be careful though of Blizzard bringing the hail. You could also do something too with this though, is like... The last turn of Dynamax, use the Max Hailstorm, survive a hit. Maybe they get their speed lowered or whatever, and then Blizzard can't miss and hail. You Fire Blast, Sludge Wave, and Draco Meteor is just... If you survive the Dino, um, Dynamax and just use the Draco Meteor, that's a lot of base power. Because you won't really survive many turns after the Dynamax with Gudra. Unless you're like... Unless you're playing Gudra a very certain way and give it a lot of speed and just... Yeah, Gudra probably won't survive many turns after Dynamax. But another thing to do with Gudra is just being tanky as possible with Curse and Rest. Chesto Resto with Curse. And your speed doesn't matter in this one. But pretty much what you want to do is Curse. Just set up Curses. Because you're already so bulky specially. Just set up a bunch of Curses and Rest when you need to. I like the Sap Zipper on this one. Just because your speed doesn't matter. Because you're going to be lowering your speed with Curse. And unless you're in Rain, Hydration is useless. So the free immunity and the plus one could help. Especially if they don't think you have Sap Zipper but pretty much aqua tail and dragon tail the moves honestly for this one are completely up to you because it's so because gudra the thing is with dragon is dragons again fairy and steel are your biggest threats but okay you have fire but fire is i mean you can run fire but you fire punch that's the only really fire move you can run you can run something like body press which would be really good on this set because of your defense but then fairies just completely wall you out so i like the aqua tail Dragon Tail. You could just get rid of Dragon Tail, honestly, because Gujar doesn't learn Dragon Tail or anything. You can always get rid of Dragon Tail for like a body press or something like that. You don't necessarily need to run Stab on this one, but when it comes down to physical moves, you could run something like a Body Slam, which is really good because it has a 30% chance to paralyze. Earthquake's really good. Uh, this is one set, though, I wouldn't mind running Iron Tail on, but Steel becomes a threat. Especially Steel and Ghost. Like an Angel Slash or something would shut that down if you ran Iron Tail Body Press. But, like, Gudra has pretty good coverage overall. You could always run, like, an Earthquake, a Body Slam, a uh, Power Whip if you just want that high base power but low accuracy. You don't care about the accuracy as much. Aqua Tail's really good, 90-90. But you just have to be careful of whatever you run just so you don't run two moves that are resistant. So, like, a single type can't switch in and shut you down with this set. You just have to be really careful of that. And... Another thing that uh, Gundra could do, like a physical Gudra, is something with counter. Like, you can really make use of counter, which is an egg move from uh, these guys. You can make use of that, so if you know a big, powerful physical hit's coming, you can just counter. You can just take the hit, because you have so much health, and then just counter. And pretty much a one-shot anything. If they don't one-shot you with a strong physical hit, especially if it's like a Dragon Claw or something, you'll one-shot them back with a counter. Because that's a lot of health they would have to have to survive that hit. And especially if they do, like, 200 damage. Unless they have 400 health, which is probably like 120 base power or something like that they're not surviving that hit so it's a free one for one at that point again body slam high chance to paralyze or good chance to paralyze good damage 
Earthquake 100 100, one of the best physical moves in the game. I just like the Aqua Tail, especially because Gudra actually learns it, and not a lot of Pokemon learn it now. The Gooey is good too, because just in case you take a physical hit, but pretty much is a full special wall, but with some physical defensive options. Again, Gudra's physical coverage isn't the greatest, but it has some moves. Um, like it is very top heavy. Like these are its best moves, but body press isn't good unless you're using Curse. Power Whip has low accuracy. Super Power lowers your attack and defense. Iron Tail lowers your Iron Tail just is low accuracy. Outrage locks you in and then confuses you. Earthquake and Body Slam are really good, but they have no drawbacks. Same with Aqua Tail, but the rest of them really have drawbacks. Another thing you could do is drop one of these moves for the Draco Meteor and just lower your speed. Honestly, and just run Draco Meteor in one of these slots just for a high base power move. A high base power, just special move, just to do a ton of damage. But some of the other things Gudra learns, like Terraful Look is not terrible, but it's not the greatest. It lowers their attack and special attack by one. And it can't miss pretty much. It's not the greatest. It's not terrible, but it's not the greatest move. Acid spray lowers their special defense by two. So if you want to acid spray them and then hit them with a really strong move, you do something like that. But Gudra, it has flail, but it's too slow and its attack isn't high enough to make to really make use of flail. They're way better flail Pokemon. But it doesn't want reversal or anything. Like power whip is power whip's pretty good, but it's just low accuracy. But like Gudra, the biggest thing about Gudra is its special cover. Its physical coverage is weird. <laughs> like when it comes down to it, almost all of them have drawbacks. But its special special coverage is great. Gudra is pretty much just a special wall with really good special coverage, like flamethrower. Like it also has Hydro Pump, Blizzard, especially on the Dynamax set too. You could always drop. It's just what you want, honestly. I like this set because this raises your special defense. These to a great coverage, and Draco Meteor is a really good stab. But it also has access to like the Thunder, for example. Uh, you could always run a Surf or something, or a Hydro Pump in that set. Like, it has some different covers that it could do, but, like, it has, I don't know, Gudra is weird. But I like Gudra as, like, a, being a straight-up physical wall. Like, this is, my opinion, the best way to run Gudra is either this or this, especially if you can get some speed into it, but one of these, or this, like, I like these two the best, honestly. Either, just because Gudra, either just, you're going full in on Gudra being a straight physical or a special defense tank, or you're making use of that hydration weakness policy bulk and just going from there and trying to do a ton of damage but that's how to use Gudra in Pokemon Sword and Shield